Hey, welcome back guys. This is Jason, KM4ACK. Today, we're going to talk about my HF travel kits. Stick around and we'll get right to it. Real quick before we get going today, I've got to give a shout out to these guys. They're my latest patrons over on Patreon. If you'd like to help support the channel, I'll leave a link to Patreon down in the description below. Okay, so before we get started, if you missed my last video on the 2 meter everyday carry kit that I have put together, you might want to go back and watch it first because that is kind of the foundation of my travel kit. And then the HF kits are additions that I can add to that foundation should I think I'm going to need it. Now, let's talk about what these HF kits are not. They are not designed to be self-sustaining day after day after day kits to keep you on the air. This is something very small, very simple that I can take with me when I'm traveling that's going to give me two to three hours of operating time before the batteries are depleted. Now, there are some options to run this, say, from a car's uh, cigarette lighter port so one of the things i have in the two meter kit is this little adapter that i showed you guys before it goes from the cigarette lighter here to a uh, power pole so i'll leave a link to this down in the description below if you missed it in the other video so that gives us the option of powering uh one of the radios uh, from a car's uh, a car battery basically from inside a vehicle it also gives us in the case of the other radio a way to recharge that particular device so I just kind of wanted to go through what it wasn't before we started uh, talking about the kits themselves so what are these kits designed for if they're not uh, designed for you know, long-lasting, day-after-day-after-day activations of some sort. This is basically a simple travel kit that I carry with me. Uh, let's say, uh, for instance, when I went to Hamcation, I'm quite a distance from home. I think I'm going to be able to use two meters to, say, check Winlink emails, things of that nature. But when I get to that area, because I'm not familiar with it, what has happened to me in the past is I haven't been able to reach a packet gateway with 5 watts and an HT. And that's where I got to thinking I needed a little bit more capability. Uh, and that's why I chose to put together a, a couple of different HF kits. And that allows me to be able to, A, I could do uh, JS8 call contacts uh, with this digital setup. Or B, I could use this for doing Winlink over HF. So I gain both of those capabilities with the HF rig, as well as being able to do uh, HF single sideband phone communications as well. But let's go ahead and jump over to the table and take a look at these two kits. So we've got two different HF travel kits here on the table that we're going to be taking a look at today. One of them is going to be a more budget-friendly option, and the other one is going to be, well, a less budget-friendly option. So let's go ahead and look at the less budget-friendly option first. Now, to give you an idea of size of this, this is roughly 14 inches long, and it's probably, I don't know, 6, maybe 7 inches wide at its widest point. The bag is a think tank a uh, photo bag. It's actually designed for carrying camera lenses, uh, but I found that it fits pretty well for this particular radio. So, on the outside, we've got the 49 to 1 in-fed half-wave antenna and a very short length of coax. I think this is uh, roughly about 10 feet of coax. Diving into the bag... We've got a couple of cables, so this is a USB cable. We've got a power cable. And a microphone. And I guess from the microphone, you can probably guess what the radio is. But let me go ahead and get that dug out of here as well. And 
And there you have it. We've got the ICOM IC705. So this is everything that I would need to be able to operate uh, for a very short period of time while traveling. One thing that's not in this kit that I do have on order is a spare battery for the 705. As soon as it gets here, we'll go ahead and add it to this kit. And taking a look at the more budget-friendly option, this bag measures, uh, looks like about 11 inches by 8 inches, and it is probably uh, about 4, maybe 5 inches, 4 and a half, 5 inches thick. So, I do kind of like the form factor of this particular uh, kit better, but uh, every kit has its advantages and disadvantages. So let's go ahead and dive into this bag and see what we've got in it. So again, I'm using the 49 to 1 in-fed half-wave antenna. We have another very short run of coax. Now, in this particular kit, I've got some RG174. I believe in the other kit, that was RG58 maybe, maybe RG8X, can't remember. But uh, this is a little bit smaller. Uh, I just find that it fits a bit better in this particular bag. Now, before we get to the radio, let's go ahead and open this up a little bit more, and you can see a few extra accessories that I have in here that will be needed for this particular radio. So, we've got a power cord uh, that we can plug up to external power. We've got a sound card here with the appropriate cable to connect to the radio. We've got a Bluetooth cat control uh, module here, so this allows us to control this particular radio over Bluetooth for cat control. It does have a USB module here and then an extra little uh, micro SD card here that's got, uh, I believe that's got the backup card for this particular um, for this particular radio in it. Uh, so this would be used in conjunction with the Raspberry Pi. Back here in the back I've got a spare micro SD card and then I've got a nifty manual. And as you can see right there this radio is the Yaesu FT817. And I will say that I really, really enjoy operating with this radio. Uh, I picked this up at a ham fest a couple of years ago. I believe it was roughly 400 bucks. Uh, it did not have the battery, the built-in battery in it. When I purchased it, it did come with a portable zero rails already attached. So I did have to pick up uh, a Windcamp battery off of eBay to go in this radio. Once I did that, this has been an outstanding radio to work portable in the field, and it's just a great size for travel. Now, I know one of the questions you're going to have right up front is, what sort of monitor am I using with the Raspberry Pi when I'm running it headless? Well, remember, these are designed to go with me on travel uh, travel days. So on those instances, I always have my MacBook Air with me in order to edit videos and things of that nature. So I always have that laptop riding around with me so I can utilize it uh, as the monitor and keyboard and mouse for the Raspberry Pi. In addition to that, I always have my cell phone. And while that small screen isn't ideal, for working with the Raspberry Pi, it does give me that option of just making a quick contact. And if you're doing a Winlink contact, honestly, the phone is uh, perfectly fine for downloading messages and then maybe replying and relaying those messages back out. So a small screen will work for those quick contacts. You don't want to use it for extended periods of time, but when it's something really quick, the phone does just fine. One other thing I wanted to bring up about these kits is the possibility of extending your runtime with this system. Now, I could always grab something like my 30 watt uh, power film solar panel, but then I've got to grab a battery to go with that. Then I've got to grab a solar charge controller to go with that. Uh, it's just multiple pieces uh, that's going to add bulk to my travel kit. And that's one thing I was trying to eliminate when I put these kits together. So the only thing I can really see that might make sense in this type of kit 
would be something like the Powerfilm Lightsaver Max. Uh, that would give you an 18, I believe that's an 18 amp hour battery in that with uh, the, the solar panel and everything all in one unit. So that might be an option to add to this kit if you wanted to extend your runtime for both your Pi and your radio. If you found this video helpful, be sure to give us a thumbs up before you head off. If you see something that you think I've left out of one of these kits, leave it down in the comments below. We'll see you guys on the next one. Until then, 7-3.